I'm Paul from Heritage Electrical and this is an example of one of the jobs we've done recently which is a home automation system for assisted living. The manufacturer we've used for this installation is Lutron, probably a world leader in lighting controls in home automation and lighting controls. We've used the Lutron system in this house because it is a wireless system and it's a retrofit system as well. Here's an example of one of the switches that goes on the wall. It's called a Pico. It's got on, off, dim up and dim down as well. These are completely battery operated and connect wirelessly to the modules. Um, they can be wall mounted, which we'll show you an example of. And also, this is a pedestal, which is weighted and it just sits on a surface if you don't want to have switches mounted on walls for convenience or any people with disabilities, with reach issues, anything like that. So that can sit on a desk or a bedside table. These can be controlled by the app which you connect to so you don't actually need switches if you don't want. You've got the switches on the walls and then you've also got Alexa which you can operate all the uh, lights or power whichever you control it. So the modules you can get for this uh, system are inline switches, inline dimmers, you've got your Pico switches, um, you've got 16 amp switch relays for switching higher loads um, and then you've got pass passive infrareds as well so if you want anything activating by motion detection to switch power and lighting and stuff so you can use PIRs too. In this situation we've used a 16 amp relay to control an immersion heater so if the boiler ever breaks down he can just say Alexa turn the immersion heater on and then at least he's got hot water in his tank. As this is an assisted living installation we're just trying to make the gentleman's life easier. Uh, so he's got control over his Velux roof lights on the conservatory so you can just give a command Alexa open window Alexa close window and he doesn't have to touch any buttons he doesn't have to do anything he can just give a voice command and that's the same with anything if you want to switch control or dim anything we can do it with this retrofit system let's go and take a look around the house at some of the different modules that we've got so this is the installation of all the relays so all the dimmer relays and all the switch relays We've put it inside a cupboard for ease of access, ease of maintenance, ease of expanding because it is going to have more of this equipment fitted in the next few months so it's easy to get to. It's nice and neat and it's out the way as well in an understairs cupboard. These are a retrofit solution as well so the modules are designed to fit through a spotlight hole so a 68mm hole that you've drilled for a spotlight so you can pop these behind spotlights in stud walls and in bulky light fittings and stuff like that they'll probably fit inside the fitting for uh, in case you don't want to be chasing walls out putting new cables in and stuff like that this is a way of making a existing installation a smart automated system in the bathroom there is no physical switch to turn the lights or fan on and off so it works on a PIR sensor so I'm just going to show you an example of this system working now using the Alexa app so this is a customer's phone, on his phone you can see some of the labels we've given the rooms there, yeah, and I'm just going to use the Alexa button on there instead of a dot or echo that he's got around the house. Bathroom spots off. Bathroom spots on 50%. Mm -hmm. Bathroom spots on 10%. So you can dim using the app as well, or the switches or whatever. Ask it whatever percentage you want the lights to come on at. And we can set the Alexa skills up for you if you, uh, if you want us to do that. Bathroom spots on 100%. So this is a quick overview of the app that we've got. Um, you can see 
we've got all the rooms labelled up. Uh, you've got if we have Pico switches controlling the lights, if we have occupancy sensors controlling the lights, if we've got mold, we've got extractor fan on there, exhaust fan you can see, um, water heater. So this is all the house as we've got it labelled up in the app. While we're in the bathroom, uh, we will turn the lights off. Turn the lights on, dim the lights down, you can see the percentage going down at the top. So we can dim and switch on and off from the app as well, or through the Amazon Alexa app also, and then you can control it by your voice too. You've got devices on here that we've got attached. You can see at the top it says we've got three lights on in the house so at any, any point if you're away from home you can see how many lights are on in the house and you can also turn all of them off. If somebody's left home and left loads of lights on you can just go on here and turn them all off. You can see on here we've got scenes and schedules as well. So scenes you can for example you would use that in a lounge if you've got five different zones of lighting so you've got um, you know LED strip pendant spotlights wall lights so you can just literally hit one button that will be cleaning relaxing whatever and then it will just bring all them lights onto just the level that you want the lights to be on at just from one scene button if you've got multiple zones so that's what the scenes are you can create scenes all around the house schedules we can set lights to come on and off at certain times so floodlights outside you know uh, lights inside um, Whatever, whatever you want to do again power schedules or your pond pump comes on any anything like that anything you want to put on a timer this also has an astronomical clock on it as well so because it's connected to the internet it knows where your location is it knows when sunset and sun rises as well so there's no need for external photo cell sensors to detect it's gone dark this knows when it goes dark when it comes dusk and it can switch your lights on and then you can schedule schedule them to be on until 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock, then they go off. So that's where your schedules come in on the app as well. If you'd like to discuss any home automation installations or any assisted living installations, please don't hesitate to give us a call.